Next up is Richard Wynn, the VP of Sales and Marketing at Ares. Uh, Richard's going to talk about um, APIs in manuscript submission systems, uh, looking, I think, at ORCID and APC processing. Uh, and he's talking not just about APCs and how they're useful, which they are in and of themselves, but how it's also important to integrate these into workflows. Over to you, Richard. Thank you. So it's sometimes claimed that APIs are the solution for everything uh, to do with software development. But when it comes to workflow systems, the reality is a little different. Unless they're coupled with context-sensitive uh, workflow, they're not that useful. The simplest case is an API that extracts data for data mining or reporting, and the results are used elsewhere. But for APIs to be really useful, they need to be bidirectional. So a workflow system like Editorial Manager uh, sends a request for data, data returned, but that creates a step in the workflow or a user interaction that needs to get reflected uh, in the interface. Let's look at some use cases. Uh, the simplest use case is ORCID, for example, where an author is registering. The API allows them to confirm their ORCID ID, which is then recorded in the workflow. But because it's been confirmed by the author, it needs to be recorded in a particular way. Where authors enter co-authors, this means that co-authors need to be driven by the plumbing of the system to the API to register their, uh, their own ORCIDs. However, once you've done all of this, you get a very rich environment where you can build further things on top of the API, such as single sign-on, APC processing, and data integrity to ensure that all the people in your database are linked to a single ORCID. Another use case involves editors. Editors often have difficulty finding reviewers. Today, that's done with, often with a manual process where they search a bibliographic database and cut and paste uh, candidate reviewer information into a peer review system. A classic use of the API here would be to send a manuscript fingerprint out to a ProQuest or other database with 3.5 million curated scholar profiles and display candidate reviewers to that editor so that they can continue with their workflow. But for this to work, the data actually have to be context sensitive. It's no good having a dead reviewer or a reviewer who's not active or one who doesn't have an email address so you can invite them to do the work. So the API is useless unless the data are good. Secondly, the API needs to be integrated at the right place in the workflow. You can't just trigger the API at any point. It needs to be in the right place, and you want to show it only to those users who will get a benefit from it. When you bring data over, the data from your external system needs to play well with the data you already have so that you don't create unnecessary duplicates or in other ways, corrupt data. So the API can bring you data, but the integration is very important. Having found candidate reviewers, you now want your workflow interface to make it easy to select them and bring them into your internal workflow where you can send them reminders, track their activity, and generate statistics about their performance. So while an API technically can be quite a simple thing, sending data in, getting data back, all of these other qualities here that I talked about are important to really make that a API seamless from a user experience. <coughs> the third use case is uh, an author submits a manuscript. This generates an API call to a payment processing system, such as the RightsLink system from CCC. And the RightsLink system has business rules that will then allow the iteration of the business model displayed to the user. For example, if the, user, uh, the author is from an institution or a particular country, you can change the business rules of the uh, commercial proposition shown to that author. The manuscript then continues in its workflow and at a later point is accepted for publication. At that point, the API calls back. The payment is resolved directly with the uh, funder or with a library or with the author themselves. And that creates an API call back saying, this manuscript has been paid for. Let's publish it. So again, this is a fairly, from a technical point of view, this API is actually relatively simple. But the editorial workflow that's built around it is what adds the value and makes it a seamless experience for the author. APIs are incredibly useful. We're using them for a broader range of acti activities. 
uh, auto composition, editor selection, taxonomy engine integration, etc. <clears throat> but let's make sure that when you sit down to uh, uh, consume a plate of API that it comes with a, a full portion of workflow integration to make sure that you're not left hungry uh, at the end of the meal. Thank you.